My name is Robert Friedman. I'm the portfolio strategist for Hive Chicago, a member of the Hive Global community. Hive Global is uh, an openly networked collection of networks within cities. And each one of these city-based networks assembles organization members and contributors, individuals even, that are all working with young people to teach digital and web literacy skills and create a connected learning environment. The Hive Network started, in some sense, uh, from research that um, was being conducted uh, by the MacArthur Foundation at University of Chicago, Irvine, that was looking at how young people were learning in, a, in the digital age during the emergence of online access for most people, before Facebook um, even, and uh, was learning that young people were um, creating connections to learning online that were reminiscent to how they were doing it in real life, but were really enabled in new ways by these digital tools. So that research was really interesting, but putting that research in action was uh, the goal of the Hive Learning Networks, to build a community of practitioners who could actually activate those digital skills and those digital experiences for young people and take advantage of them for learning. So if you're in a space that already has a Hive Learning Network, then um, looking for us through uh, hivelearningnetworks.org and then trying to identify a city that may already have one is a good start. You'll find contact information there. To get involved on uh, like an actual activity sort of uh, sense of the word um, is to connect young people that are in your community to the organizations and projects that we're exhibiting or to contribute by showing up to our open meetups and our community uh, gatherings to uh, share your ideas, thoughts, or connect programs that you might be running. Educators have the easiest connection to our network, but we're looking to expand what the contribution looks like. If you don't have a Hive Learning Network in your community, you can create one yourself. Um, so hivelearningnetworks.org is, again, a good place to start. But if you're looking to create a, a Hive Network, the best place to start is by hosting a maker party in your community with as many other organizations as you can. And it doesn't have to be just digital or web literacy skill based. A maker party that features other organizations can include art, music, design, science, nature, whatever. And the reason is because when we want to teach digital and web literacy skills, we need a context to do it in. So even if that's your goal, bringing those organizations in helps you make your projects more creative but also helps you to translate those skills to other organizations that may not have that capacity. It's a youth-driven inquiry, so it's youth-generated citizen science projects. Um, so we have existing uh, summer projects with youth um, or summer programs, and what we overlaid upon that is trying to take a citizen science model where youth are developing their own citizen science projects, uh, specifically focused on urban ecosystems, and human ecology. Mapping was the initial uh, focus, is looking at some of these mapping tools to visualize this data. Um, then we started looking more at, as the project developed, into mobile data collection and collaboration across programs. So um, basically, uh, youth are using mobile devices, either Android or iPhone-based mobile devices. Um, going out, collecting uh, you know, GPS points on their observations. So whether that's water quality data, location of different tree species, where bees are. So basically taking that sort of citizen science model um, for uh, kind of crowdsourcing that data um, and uh, using mobile devices to collect that data. Um, and then we take that data and push it into various visualization tools. So if they go onto the Hive Chicago uh, webpage, they can find our portfolio, which is the Hive Mapping Cooperative. And on there, there's a couple of links that'll take you to some of the existing projects that students have set up um, using existing tools that are already out there, like EpiCollect, um, Google Fusion Tables, just to kind of be able to collect and set up their own projects, visualize that data, and ask for others to contribute. Yeah, sure. I mean, like, specifically the, the focus, what our end goal is, is to try to create a youth-driven environmental portal for Chicago. Um, but a lot of these projects are, 
projects where they could collect data really anywhere.